Happy Monday, everyone. It's December 14th, 2015, and Amazon is pulling so-called hoverboards from its website due to safety concerns. Never mind that hoverboard is a terribly inapt name for the two-wheeled self-leveling motorized platform thingies. The important thing is that Amazon knows they're a hot holiday gift this year, and it's concerned about increasing reports that many of the products are prone to catch fire. In fact, the Consumer Product Safety Commission told NBC News last Thursday that it's investigating at least 10 reports of fires allegedly caused by hoverboards. The problem is related to cheap lithium-ion batteries used in many less expensive products, which can overheat and potentially combust if overcharged or damaged. Earlier this month, the UK seized over 90% of hoverboards imported into the country due to fear of explosion. And several airlines have outright banned them as well. So if you're still thinking of picking one up as a gift this year, we suggest spending more than 800 bucks because it's the cheap knockoffs of the originals that seem to be causing the most problems. And if you insist on rolling the dice on an El Cheapo version, maybe don't stick it directly under the tree because that just seems like a recipe for holiday disaster. And finally, it wouldn't be a day in tech news without something drone related in the headlines. And today we've got video footage proving that the rumors Japan plans to catch unruly drones with nets is totally true. In the footage, we see a large drone armed with nothing but net chase down a smaller quadcopter and totally catch it like some kind of Spider-Man vigilante justice drone or something. I mean, at least they aren't using firearms. But can you just imagine a fleet of buzzing drones flying around for the sole purpose of making sure other drones aren't buzzing around? When we heard Japan was going to fight drones with drones, we collectively shook our heads and said, yeah, that sounds about right. But something about seeing it happen is just so, ah, Japan. We love you. As always, you'll find more about these stories and all the latest tech news at digitaltrends.com. That's it for DT Daily today. We'll see you again tomorrow.